If you use the internet at all, then you need to start doing this now, and I'll be showing you what right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe, followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So for anyone who uses the internet, whether it's on a phone, PC or laptop, there's a good chance that you're using the Chrome browser. While it's been great and my favorite browser for many years, I've noticed it's slowly getting worse on both my phone and my computer. While it is okay on some sites, others I find it awful for running, especially things like YouTube where it quite often freezes. Some people may think it's actually down to a slow device, but honestly, it's not. The issue is Chrome. Before we get into it though please like the video if you've had issues with chrome and let me know in the comments what they are but as well as the issues we know chrome is very power hungry it uses a lot of resources and when it comes to ads and tracking chrome allows plenty of ads and pop-ups by default and it allows websites to track with cookies and then serve even more ads but today i've got a solution for you guys and it's incredible the answer is brave browser and i'm sure some of you may have heard of brave but many of you probably haven't I've been using it for a fair few months now, and not only is it lightning fast, but it also respects your privacy and puts the user back in control. The Brave browser is 100% free, and it's actually based on the Chromium web browser, so many aspects are very similar to Chrome, but strangely enough, the Brave browser has everything that Chrome has with some added extras. It's definitely showing some great improvements, and it's not just a copy of Chrome. The great thing about Brave is that not only is it better, but it it also allows the user to make real money and we'll go into that shortly. Some of you may also have seen my tweets about it a few months ago, but I wanted to fully test the Brave browser before making a video. I've been using the Brave browser on my PC, my laptop, my Android phone, and my iPhone, and I have to say it runs smoothly on all of them. For anyone that just wants to give it a try, I've placed the link down in the description below, and as I said, it is free and runs on all platforms. For anyone who wants more information about the Brave browser, then don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it. So the Brave browser is a feature-packed mobile and desktop web browser designed throughout to stop unwanted ads and unwanted tracking. Its whole design allows you to see ads in a unique way if you want, but if you don't want ads then you simply don't get them, it's natively built in. Brave browser's mission is to put the power back in the hands of the user and so far it seems to be working very well. The cool thing is that if you don't care about the odd advertisement, you can enable them and they're a lot less intrusive. And these ads also give you Batcoin, which is actually a cryptocurrency and it stands for a basic attention token. You can choose to reward this bat to your favorite website, creator, or even blog to support them. And there's even an auto contribute option that will automatically distribute your bat depending on how much you use each site. Of course, for those who don't want ads, you simply press no ads and that's it. The the user chooses if they want to see ads or not, and the user chooses if they want to be tracked using cookies, and they make it as easy as they can to turn off. And of course, many people do have a lot of trust in Google, so they may be skeptical about trying something new, as I was at first. With the Brave browser though, you are in capable hands, given that it's founded by Brendan Eich and Brian Bondi. Brendan Eich is the creator of JavaScript, which is essentially the code that runs the internet these days, and he's also co-founder of the Mozilla project, so he definitely knows what he's doing. Brian Bondi was another co-founder of Mozilla, which was always an incredible alternative to Chrome. There was a lot of skepticism at first, but Brave Browser has proved the skeptics wrong, as they now boast 8.7 million active monthly users. The browser is sort of a design that it's going to work much better with a decent amount of users so it's great to see that it is so popular. It's been running for a long time and there's definitely no better time to try it out. Even if you're not tech savvy and comfortable with trying new software, the first time you open the Brave browser it takes you through a step by step guide that allows you to import any bookmarks from your other browsers in just a few simple clicks. The Chromium base means that look wise it is very similar which means you're going to feel comfortable from the get-go. As well as this, for those who want more advanced features like Tor browsing, it's even able to do that, which of course cannot be done in Chrome. 
As I said earlier, Brave Browser puts the power in the hands of you, the user. Unlike Chrome, you don't need to download plugins to block ads or scroll through tons of settings just to turn off some tracking or Java. Brave has everything built in and it is easily accessible. For a start, if we take a look at the rewards, you can see it shows me I'm on YouTube watching my own channel. This part of Brave allows you to send tips to blogs, websites or creators or just turn it off and keep them to yourself. If we go into reward settings, you can see it's very easy to turn off Brave rewards or we can just disable the ads and we can choose whether to auto contribute or not and it also shows us how much attention we give to each site. Now this window here is a reset version of Brave, it's not the one I normally use as I wanted to show it to you from fresh, but Brave does reward you in a cryptocurrency called BAT which is basic attention token. While some of you may think it's worthless, it actually has a decent value and after looking a couple of days ago, I had £78 worth of BAT, which is about $100 for those of you in the USA. That was built up over a few months of browsing the web and through friends. The BAT can be converted into your own currency, i.e. pounds or dollars, and if you're not bothered, you can donate them to your favorite website or creator. And of course, if you really don't care, just turn off the ads and you won't make BAT, but you won't see any ads. Personally, I just like the simple setup of the Brave browser. It looks clean and it performs great. They've kept all the settings simple for the users who just want to access the web. And for the more advanced users, all the settings are still there. There's not a single website where Brave doesn't outperform the competition in my opinion, and it just gives you a stress-free browsing experience. I found this to be the case on both my computer and my phone, and I find it a little ironic how Chrome is possibly the worst in my experience for YouTube, and they're both owned by Google, so you'd hope they would run well together. As I said earlier though, the Brave browser is completely free and although it's only started becoming popular a few years ago, there's still a huge user base that is constantly growing. In terms of updates and developments, it's got great traction and I promise you that you won't be disappointed. I feel like I've waffled on a little bit too much now, but you guys get the gist of it so make sure you go and give it a try. Simply click the link in the description and it's going to take you to the free download for whatever platform you're using, but I'd like to get some feedback from you guys. Give it a try and then come back to this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to know what you thought was better about Brave Browser if anything and then what your browser was before and if you're now going to make the switch to Brave. Of course if there's anything I've missed or you guys have got any questions simply leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.